Well, hey, y'all. Good to see you. My name is William Lawson. This, of course, is the Saxophone Factory. We are on Unit 6. 6. Only 30 to go. <laughs> ah, I feel good. <clears throat> oh, it's such a blessing to, to feel better. Uh, you know, if you if if you are a per person of a certain <clears throat> age, and you and you felt bad, you know how good it is to feel well. So, and I do, right now. So I am I am blessed and I'm happy. Thank you for some of your messages who who said that they're, they're glad I'm feeling better that I'm I'm back at it. I appreciate you. Uh, we are heading towards eleven hundred subscribers. How? Wow! Didn't expect that. All right, um, but, you know, for those of you who have subscribed, though, do me a favor. If you would do me this favor. If you would like and comment and share these videos with other folks, I would really appreciate it. Thank you ever so much. All right, we are on um, Unit 6. Unit 6 starts at, at, at on um, page 6, number 10. We are, and this is a an exercise in, in a... A minor, A melodic minor. Here we go. Number 10. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> We are at num page 24, number 6, as the next part of Unit 6. What we're going to do is that we're going to seem like we're going to speed the metronome up, but we're not. We're not. We're just going to play eighth. We're going to play eighth notes as the beat. And eighth notes at the beat are going to be up to like 152. And that sounds crazy until you hear it. And then you'll, and then you'll get it, okay? So don't panic right away and go, oh my God, he lost his mind. He did it again. Don't, don't, don't. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Trust me. All right. I'm going to turn on, on Molly Metronome here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. See, it's not that bad. I told you. Here we go. Uh, page 24, number six. <laughs> There you go. Page 24, number 6 in Unit 6. Alrighty. Our next, uh, our ex next exercise in Unit 6 is on page 46, number 6. It's, a, again, something in an 8 time signature. And I really think that, you know, the sooner you can get to uh, the compound time signatures, that's, I guess what they call, that's what they call it, uh, it's better off. Uh, that way you don't get, you know, smashed in your brain that a quarter note gets a count, a quarter note gets a beat, a quarter note gets a beat, a quarter note gets a beat. Because sometimes it does, but sometimes it does not. And this particular exercise is in 6-8, so an eighth note gets a count. All right, here we go. 
There's a repeat, and I'm taking all the repeats. <laughs> Next, in, uh, in Unit 6, page 54, exer fingering exercises number 13. Make sure I get the right ones. 13 and 14. Here we go. We're going to use 80 as our metronome marking. If I can click on the button. There we go. Two. Okay, now on 14, uh, above the C, the C on the third count, there is an S written. And what that means is use the side key. And we've talked about that. Let me show it to you again. It's the, it's the B key depressed and the middle side key there. C, B, C, B, C, B. Okay? That's what it means to do there. And then making sure that we can coordinate our fingers from going from that G sharp to the B. It's getting all these fingers up and down in a, in a coordinated fashion, which is which can be kind of tough when you're just starting for sure. All righty. Uh, off to the next one. <laughs> all right. The next one is, make sure I get it right, page 60, number five. Yeah, um, we're going to play page, we're going to play number five in the same fashion as we played number one with the 16th notes. One Iana, two Iana, three Iana, four Iana, one. That's not a problem. The, uh, the challenge is that the first note is low B flat. <laughs> and you know a lot of us still have trouble getting that note out I don't necessarily but a lot of you you know and occasionally if you haven't warmed up yet that note doesn't speak before we before I try the exercise uh, I want to tell you that a lot of times if that note doesn't come out about half the time it's not you it's for some reason your horn is not in as good a repair as you might think and the smallest leak, that means that there's a pad, a key, that isn't closing all the way, even if it looks like it to you, will cause that part of, this part of your horn, the bottom part, not to operate well or be trouble operating. So don't, don't automatically think it's you. Um, do all you can with your armature. Make sure that we're nice and open here. Oh, as if you were trying, had a mouthful of marbles, or you were trying not to swallow them. So you want that big open. Some people say open your throat. I am not a. I'm not a person who thinks. Here's what I'm gonna just gonna run right in, in in the face of a number of really good saxophone teachers and really good saxophone players. I don't think we can open our throat like a snake. You will hear that and see that in other videos. I don't think that's possible. I don't. Because you would never choke on anything. No one would ever choke on anything. Because you would be able to open your throat and let whatever you swallowed, that, you know, that shrimp that you ate, that you got caught in your throat, and you would open it up. But that's not what happens. I think the best we can do is, in our voicing, is try to open, our, open the inside of our mouth, oh, as if you were singing the note. Oh, 
B flat. Try that. B flat. Dropping our tongue to the bottom of our mouth. B flat. Oh. And that's the feeling you want. Now, I think it might relax here some. And that's opening your throat. But you can, don't think about this. Think about what you know you can control. And what you know you can control is your throat. And again, I... I know that you would never choke on anything if you could just mysteriously and magically just open your throat like a snake. Can't do it. Nobody can. So when we talk about that, think about opening the back of your mouth. Oh, down here. Oh, pushing your soft palate, which technical term, uh, for, for the bottom of your mouth. Oh, down and back. That's the key, I think to getting those notes to speak. And again, making sure that your instrument's in good repair. Let's let's see if I can just play that low B flat. I can. Whew. Okay, here we go. Number five. Number five. Uh, on page number 60. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four. Let's see if I can do it with the metronome. What do you think? Let's try it. One, two, ready? <laughs> there's an asterisk, and above the B-flat at the end, there's also an asterisk. Now, the easy way to do that E-flat to F-trill is to finger the E-flat, like I have here, and just lift your middle finger. Because the fewer fingering fingers that we have moving during any transition, the cleaner it's going to be. B flat to C. Go ahead and finger the side B flat, like an A with the bottom side key. And when you go to C, just just move your top finger. B flat C, B flat C, B flat C, B flat da 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 da. And that'll make it clean. So you're not moving all the fingers at one time. Definitely do not try to do this. This this B flat to C. Absolutely not. Sorry, don't do it that way. All right, uh, on to the uh, the minuet for the last time. I know you're tired of it. All right, we are at num page 66, number one. Yes, uh, the minuet. And you know the best thing? The last time in the book we're going to play it. I'm sure that makes you happy. Uh, but hopefully by this time, it's really good. Now, now it's time to show off to your friends, right? All right, this is, again, the uh, Minuet from Orpheus of the Deep uh, by Gluck. Here we go. We're going to use the metronome. We're going to go about 80. One.
There you go. Now you feel free to, to, to practice it and play it, and uh, anytime you want, you, can, you use it as a warm up now. Because by now, after six weeks, you got it. All right. Anyway, that's all of Unit Six. Looking forward to Unit Seven. Again, thank you. Remember to share and comment, uh, like, subs uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, we appreciate it being. We, we, we appreciate you being here, uh, and look for looking forward to doing Unit Seven. These are all from the Rubank uh, Advanced Method for Saxophone, Volume 1. All right, my name is Will Lawson. Do we see you again? Keep practicing.